Okay, this is second tutorial. We're going to try and get a present appearing on the screen. Now, so far we've got the Santa zooming around the screen. Well, moving around the screen. Maybe you could actually work out how you could get the Santa going faster across the screen. That'd be a good thing to do because he's a bit slow just now. Anyway, I'll let you work that one out. Okay, yeah, let's get a, a, a present on the screen. So, file, import as control, and image file. And there it is. Let's go for that present. So, that's from the same folder as you had before. Click on that, open it up. We've got this massive present here. Oh, let's just let's like that. And uh, it's a little bit too big, so again, I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit so it's a reasonable size. And there we go, that's probably a better size. Okay, and again, we're going to call this present. Now, what we're going to do is uh, this present is going to appear randomly over the in different parts of the screen, and then the Santa is going to chase around after it to try and catch it. So let, let's have a, a button to get this game going. So if we put a button over here, uh, to do that I just clicked on the, the push button, hold, hold it down, and then you drag it over onto the, the stage. And this button, we're going to call it the start button. Now you can, you can change the colors of that if you want to. You can if you go into properties, you can set up all sorts of colors there. Okay, so you can, you can do that if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it as a bog standard plain button. Right, let's uh, edit this uh, the script of this button. So it says on that mouse up. Right, so when it uh, when the mouse's button is pressed down and then released, we are going to get it to uh, dis go into this procedure of display present. Okay, so let's now define what this procedure is going to do. So on display present, what it's going to do, it's going to randomly produce a place on the screen for the present to appear. So if we just use this thing here, we just use this bit of code here, I'll just paste it in here. So it says set the location of image present to a random number between 600 uh, from 0 to 600 and from 0 to 300. Now the reason why I've got that 50 there is just so that uh, if I didn't have it, what would happen is that the present would appear like that. Okay, and I don't really want it to appear sort of partially off the screen. So I've put a plus 50 there so it always sort of moves it in just a little bit from the edge. Okay, well that's what I plan. That's what I hope it does. Okay, so there we go. Randomly produces a place for the present. And I'm also going to make sure that uh, the present is visible, and it's a good little bit of code this, so it sets the visible image of present to true. Now obviously it's true this now, but later on what we're going to do is when the Santa catches a present or gets a present, we're going to make it disappear. And, uh, and that. Okay, so, <clears throat> so it's going to randomly appear in different places, and we've set this. So this bit of code here will just determine where about uh, whether the, the present is visible or not. Okay, so let, let's just see if that works. Let's see if the present appears in different random places when we press the button. So we'll apply that bit of code. We'll go and press the start button. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's over there. It's over there. It's over there. Look at that. That's amazing. It's all going in different places. Okay. And then we've got obviously got Santa moving around as well. So obviously the, the next thing we want really is we want Santa to you know chase, get over to it, and then when he touches it, it disappears. So let's uh, see if we can put a little, a bit of code in there to check for an intersection. So I'm not going to put this code on this part here. I want to go back and look at the code that we we're doing on the card script. So that was object card script. And in here, what we'll do is every time that Santa has moved, we'll check to see if he is touching the present. So what we'll do in here, we'll put a little bit of code in, just to say check for or check intersection. Okay, so this is going to be a new procedure we're going to have, and it's going to happen every time Santa is moved around. Right, so we're going to new procedure down the bottom here on check for intersection. Right, so there's a little bit of code that does this, and I'll just paste that code in here. 
let's get rid of this. So it says if intersect image center, comma image present, and it will pick pistol uh, pixels, not pistols, pixels, and then not game over. Right. So what we're going to do? Just let's get rid of that there. As you see, so if if it intersects the center image with the present, then what we're going to do is just we're going to have a little message popping up saying. Uh, Then answer got you. Okay. And if. So all that's going to be doing is going to be checking to see if the Santa is touching the present. Right, so let's just see what happens now when we move this around. Oh, I didn't apply that, so let's apply it. And let's move. Oh, it's got me already. Oh, it's got me again. Let's move this thing somewhere, somewhere else. So over there, so we go charging towards it. Got you, fantastic. Right, so that's a little bit, bit. Um, uh, what should we say? Annoying with that string popping up all the time. So let's just say this time we want the present to disappear and reappear in another place. So all we do instead of saying "got you," we could just call that previous procedure we had, which was on the start button, and it could just display the present again somewhere else. So if I so let's get rid of that there and paste display present, and then what will happen when it uh, it will suddenly jump to another place? So if we apply that, and now let's move, let's put the present somewhere over there. Right. So it goes charging across the screen, and it's going to get there. Going to get there. It's oh, and it crashes out. Display present error. It's in display print. Oh dear me, what's all happened there? Yeah, okay, so what happened there was uh, it, it can't find that procedure. So if we take this procedure out of here, so I'll cut it out of there, Control X to cut it out. Oh, why is it not cutting? Okay, I'll just cut it in. No, it won't let me cut it. Right, I'll copy it in. And I'm going to paste it into into this bit of code here. Ah, that's why that's, that button was on still. Let's try that again. So select it, cut it out of there, go on to the, the stack one. So that was an object, the stack script, and then if I paste in underneath check intersection, the display present code, now it'll be able to find it. I just couldn't find it on the um, because it was on the start button. So if I apply that, and also apply that one there, let's see what happens now. So it starts, Santa zooms across. Does he get to the present? He gets it. It goes to somewhere else. Look at that, it's jumping all over the place. It's getting incredibly exciting, this game. Okay, so there we go, some codes for you now. We've got a few more things so we can probably improve that, but at least uh, Santa can chase, uh, chase a present around the screen all day long.